Hey, Cubic Chronic here, working on the worm bin. Got a 45 gallon tote. Put some holes in the side. Got some rocks in the middle for drainage. And there's drain holes on the bottom for the worm juice. We got air holes on the lid. We're gonna do a layer of rock for the drainage so everything doesn't compact on the drain holes. Get the worm juice out. Got some hydrated cocoa coir bricks here. Getting kind of hydrated still. A little bit of potting soil and I got a forest mulch with some straw that I'm going to do a mix of for their medium. And I'll show you as I get along here. So basically what I've added in here is uh, what the worms are going to be living in eventually. Which is just a forest mulch. Wood chips broken down over decades. Really nice stuff. A little bit of straw which is going to be on top on the no-till. A little bit of potting soil on the bottom I threw in. Just a couple buckets of uh, mulch here. Then a worm bedding, they usually like this coco coir. It's my first time using such a thing. It just helps the moisture and they also use it as a food source. I'm going to be feeding my worms the same kind of things they're always going to be fed. Uh, thinking more no towards the no-till side of things. I'm not going to feed them a whole lot of different food scraps and things, but mainly the kind of different substances they're going to be eating throughout the season. So they're used to it and they're going to produce some nice fertile castings for me. I'll show you once I introduce them, I'm going to add this coco coir on top of the mulch for nice bedding and then a little bit of straw on top. At this point I've added the coco coir. It's absorbed a lot of moisture. It's still a little bit clumpy, but it's breaking up. It's nice and nice and moist. You don't want it too wet for the worms. I'm going to leave little clumps for them to bust up too. But I got the rest kind of hydrating in the buckets here. I'll probably it's, it's pretty wet still. So I'll probably strain it off a little bit before I add it in, but I'll let it hydrate better. So they have a nice bed to be introduced into, and I'll show you when I get the worms in there. So yeah, get the worms, red wiggler composting worms from Uncle Jim, Uncle Jim's worm farm. As you can see, they're just lively. They're living it up. 2,000 worms here. Got the coco coir nice and moist on the top layer. Just gonna pour these babies out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that ball of worms. Woo. Red wigglers. They're gonna just emerge into their new home. Look at this one, he's just tunneling. He's just tunneling. They produce asexually. This is a lot of worms to start with. I'm gonna have quite a worm farm going. Probably produce me some nice rich castings for the season. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take some cocoa and just sort of push them. I'm gonna just touch them and put them away here. Look at them. My God. Just make sure they just kind of spread them out. You know, we're gonna just cover them up. Just cover them up. Let them do their thing. No problem. Some of this moist material, you know. I'm gonna put a layer of straw and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. There they are, they're all in their new home. Got the straw on top as a nice mulching layer to hold the uh, moisture. You know, you just peel it back. You'll see them moving around. So you get used to their new home. Uh, we'll see how it goes. They're gonna start getting fed here in a couple days, probably. Start adding things like you know, organic eggshells, coffee grounds, you know, they're composting worms. They can eat a lot of things, but I'm going to have them on a specific diet. Keep you guys updated on the worm bin. If you guys ever need some worms, check out Uncle Jim. And as always, dabs ahoy. Happy gardening.